All right, everybody. Doug Douglason, lead singer of the Hot Country Nights, lead entertainer, best hair in country music ever. The accolades go on. Uh, you can read about them in the Hall of Fame when I'm abducted in a few years. And this is Mull It Over. We're mulling over mullets. So you got three characteristics of a good mullet. One, clean. That's important. It's important. This is not clean. This is what a bad mullet looks like. This is what happens when you confuse, uh, you know, regular shampoo for uh, the blue water and a, and a porta potty. That's a long story. I thought I was freshening up with some some dandruff shampoo. Feathered, if possible. You can look here. A little bit of a feathering situation is nice. And for me, a great mullet is all about having some different colors in there. So. I know this looks natural, it's not. It took a lot of work for my gal, Edna, who works on my hair, getting that just right. So the idea is for it to look cheap, but it should cost a lot of money. Here I use these uh, these little things right here that I stole from our guitar player. I'm not sure he uses it for, but for me it's a way to touch my hair and be safe during these times and not uh, you know not spread the disease around the virus. Does my mullet have a name? Yes, this, mer this mullet's name is actually Nancy. Old Nancy. And uh, Nancy has been good to me, and I, when I am cleaning her off, I talk to her and pet her. Travis Tritt or Marty Stewart? That is a hard toss of the Marty's got a great, almost like a uh, hawk kind of thing happening, but I think for pure mullet, I gotta go Travis. Blake Shelton or Alan Jackson? Blake Shelton's had one of the greatest mullets of all time. Look at the curls and the waterfall on that. I love Alan Jackson, but I don't know if anybody can compete with what uh, Blake Shelton's got going on out there. Diplo or uh, Morgan Wallen? I mean, for just pure country boy, straight out of the parking lot, jumped up on stage and stole the microphone from somebody. Morgan Wallen, man, he's just got, it's authentic, it's real. It's, uh, it's pretty gutsy, so I gotta go with Morgan on that one. Toby Keith or Billy Ray Cyrus, I mean, both old friends of mine from way back in the day. Billy Ray, though, I mean, that's just the definition of a short long. It's short all the way around, and then real long and scraggly and just kind of nasty and sweaty. You gotta love that. Michael Bolton, Lionel Richie, I mean, such unique styles. This is such a hard one. Gosh. You know, I gotta go. I've never seen anything in my life like Michael Bolton's hair. And the fact he's not a country singer and rocks that hair. Well, it looks like a, like a, he's in a, a Harry Potter movie or something, that thing. Unbelievable. It's kind of a little baldy up there, too. Skull it almost. Um, Chuck Norris or A.C. Slater? I do love Chuck. We've done a lot of kung fu over the years together. But A.C. Slater for the high school win right there. Strong. Again, none of these are as good as mine, but uh, they're all a pretty close, like, fifth or sixth. Peace out.